Our stock of the day is Setire, the online luxury goods retailer. It's seen its gross revenue almost double the year on year to more than $167 million, with management reporting sales revenue growth up 80% month to date. Uh, its uh, shares climbing higher as a result after it reported a 92% surge in first quarter sales. Driven by broad-based momentum across established and emerging markets, it's delivered adjusted earnings uh, of nearly $10 million for the quarter. The chief executive, Dean Mint, saying, uh, said, I continues to rapidly increase penetration within the large global personal luxury goods market. During the period, he said, we experienced broad-based momentum across the established and emerging markets. Henry, <laughs> Setai. Interesting to see what's going on with luxury goods at the moment because, you know, take uh, the global leader, perhaps LVMH, yep. has actually suffered uh, more recently. And, of course, we know what's going on with discretionary spending given the cost of living pressures. Yeah, it's, um, I ought to say, I've never got this one particularly right. I've always questioned $900 T-shirts, why anybody in their right mind would want to buy a $900 T-shirt, but obviously people do. Um, and Setai have once again produced some pretty good results. The market's been a little bit ho-hum I must admit, regarding these results, given you know the, the big percentage numbers, and we always see some big percentage numbers. My my problem with this one, I guess, is that um, you know things can change very quickly for these guys. If if the big luxury brands say, you know what, we're no longer going to supply you with these goods, um, then that can change quite quickly for them in terms of their offerings. But having said that, you look at something like Farfetch, which is a much bigger. A company that does pretty much the same thing mm. and you look at some of the valuations there when I last did it uh, Satire doesn't look massively expensive compared to Farfetch and you would think maybe at some time in the future it would make sense for the two of them to combine forces uh, and create one luxury portal uh, where uh, consumers can really uh, focus on I mean this this is very much geared to the US uh, that is predominantly where their revenue comes from the US retail side continues to astound economists and analysts. You know, we saw it last night once again, uh, retail sales up, pushing the bond market yields way higher. So um, you know, the, the business model still works. Uh, the numbers are big in terms of percentages, but I can't really get that excited. Um, it's a hold from me at the moment. Um, I think the market reaction today probably says it all. And volumes are low, and we have seen Dean Mintz um, sell some shares yep. um, not that long ago. I can't remember when, but it wasn't that long ago. So um, clearly, you know, there's a price. Um, I think at 260 odd, it's probably a hold here. Okay, Andrew, thoughts? Yeah, back in August when we spoke about this last, we identified that Mr. Min's holding a significant holding was a significant issue. And I note he paid attention to Henry and I because about two days later, there was a, uh, a block put through. So thank you for listening to us. I do appreciate that. <laughs> um, but um, as a consequence, that's probably taken one of my concerns away. And again, we like management holding shares, but when they hold too many shares, it's almost an impediment to corporate activity because it's, you know, the, the volume going through it is it's hard. I think to all the points that Henry spoke about consumers potentially being under pressure, rising oil prices, albeit their customers are probably more well, well healed. But again, as you spoke about, Andrew, that LVMH share price down 23% over the last six months. So there's certainly some trouble brewing in that sort of high end space. If you look at the actual numbers, they've got about a 59% return on equity, which is outstanding, but their profit margin, as you would expect with a retailer, is only about 3.6%. So there's not a lot of wiggle room there, and if they're left holding inventory and things go bad, then there's potentially some real issues there. So it's 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 an okay business, um, and as I said, ROE stands up, but it's a hold at these levels. From yep, okay, that is a double hold uh, for satire.